This video is to give you an overview of the importance of Malcolm. Firstly, we'll look at his innate royalty. Secondly, his purity and innocence. And thirdly, his intelligence and truthfulness. Firstly, Shakespeare aligns Malcolm with Duncan in the depiction of his inherent royalty. When Macbeth falsely mourns Duncan after he has killed him, he bemoans to Malcolm that the spring, the head, the fountain of your blood is stopped. Macbeth's belief that the blood of Duncan has stopped flowing is undermined by the metaphor of the fountain, which demonstrates the power of the royal lineage. Like an ever-flowing and ever-renewing fountain, Duncan's blood is renewed in Malcolm as his innate royalty is inherited. We further see Malcolm embodying royalty in his lack of personal identity. Unlike Macbeth, who is driven by personal ambition, Malcolm has a solely political role and acts only for the health of his country and the crown. Whilst Macbeth suffers mental pain and anguish, Malcolm uses the popular medieval metaphor of the body politic and focuses only on the health of the country. Furthermore, whilst Macbeth is driven by ambition, through the sacrificial statement of what I am truly is that I am in my poor countries to command, Malcolm subsumes his personal desires into political service. Additionally, as Lady Macbeth aligns masculinity with violence for personal gain, Malcolm aligns manliness with allegiance to the state. The use of imperatives towards Macduff, of disputed like a man, and enraged the heart towards anger, demonstrates both his masculine depth of passion and his constant focus on defending the state, unlike Macbeth's barbaric and senseless violence. Malcolm is also consistently associated with natural royalty. This is primarily demonstrated through the motif of planting. While Shakespeare has Duncan use imagery of cultivation, now I have begun to plant thee, Macbeth only grows ripe for shaking and then into weeds, connoting his wildness and destructive nature. Malcolm, however, is described with the metaphor of the sovereign flower and symbolically associated with the woods of Dunsinane whose moving towards the castle represents the restoration of natural order. It is then emphasised by Malcolm using the metaphor in his final speech of planted newly with the time. This could be a reference to how Malcolm is now the rightful king planted into the nation. This natural power is further emphasised by the fact that it is Malcolm who has the final lines of the play, again conveying the restoration of natural equilibrium, whilst the corrupted nature of Macbeth is shaken and destroyed at the play's catharsis. Shakespeare consistently emphasises Malcolm's purity and innocence. By using the symbol of the lamb to represent himself, Shakespeare has Malcolm contrast the black, hellish nature of Macbeth. It can also be seen as an allusion to Jesus, framing Malcolm as a sacrificial saviour. This pure nature is further emphasised by Malcolm mentioning Edward the Confessor's royal touch. This account of seeing royal touching not only provides a godly counterpoint to the demonic magic of the witches, but highlights the absence of this kingly quality of divine healing in Macbeth and associates natural royalty with healing. This association is then seen in Malcolm in his use of the metaphor let's make us medicines and the description of him as a blessing. Whilst Macbeth is associated with sickness, Malcolm represents the health of the nation. Furthermore, Malcolm's sexual purity distances him from the influence of women, a manipulative force within the play. Whilst Macbeth is associated with the influence of women, Malcolm is not only a virgin, but seemingly motherless. Perhaps Shakespeare did not mention his mother in order to contrast Lady Macbeth's perverse nursery of her husband to Malcolm's freedom from female influence. Finally, Malcolm is presented as rational, stoic and truthful. The curt response to his father's death, oh by whom, can be seen an example of his exemplary stoicism in contrast to the false hyperbolic responses of Macbeth and Lady Macbeth. Malcolm's warning to show an unfelt sorrow is an office which the false man does easy, represents his wise and cynical nature. This is further represented in his testing of Macduff. This arguably presents him as more suitable for kingship than his trusting father. Furthermore, Malcolm's suitability for kingship is represented in the importance he placed on truth, something he claims to delight in as much as life. In summary, Malcolm is significant as he offers up an ideal of kingship, possibly acting either as a reflection of King James's pensive, restrained nature or as a model for a stoic, cautious mindset.